The Lake District National Park is a world heritage site and renowned for its lakes, forests and mountains. Some of the finest landscapes are spread across the region of Cumbria. Lake Windermere is one of the most popular visitor locations within the National Park, but this channel is about golf courses and not lakes. Although I do like a lake. What I can tell you is just five minutes drive away is a golf course that was founded in 1891. I've never been there before. It's a little bit chilly, but we're gonna take a little bit of a look around. Before we get to the golf course, the uh, camera lady just saying she's down tools because she wants something to eat. So uh, we're going to stop by in Windermere where I believe there's, uh, she's found a nice cafe for some breakfast before we kick off. And it seems cafe culture has spread from the cities as we had a queue on Monday morning to get into what was obviously a very popular spot. And it was soon easy to see why. Tracy ordered the cornbread with avocados, eggs, mushrooms and a whole lot more which quite honestly was divine. I settled for a simple bacon sarnie but it was quite honestly the best I've ever eaten. So with the camera woman fed and watered we could now make our way to the golf course. Shot hand. Well, it was a decent shot away, but we've just had, uh, well, not great news anyway. I've just arrived. We left very early this morning and uh, it's been very cold overnight. I've just arrived in the pro shop and I've been told we're going to be playing 18 temporary greens, which is not good on two parts. One, I hate playing golf with temporary greens. And two, we're trying to show this golf course off. And for me to show you any drone footage, that kind of thing, it's going to be a challenge when there's no flags in the real greens but we'll work it out we'll get some positivity out of it this series has already led me to places i wouldn't have otherwise gotten to it has led me to a new excitement to play golf again discovering golf courses for the first time provides a mix of excitement, optimism, and sometimes a heightened anxiety of first tee nerves, all of which are good reason to get out and about if possible and try something new every now and then. And the first positive we're going to take is just how nice is the day. It's pure blue skies. And as I've already said, extremely cold and fully understand why these greens are pretty much frozen underfoot. But either way, uh, I'm going to struggle, but we'll find a way of showing off what seems to be already a real quirky golf course that it looks like I'm going to have to come back to. Ah, leaked it. Well, just to give you some idea of the frustrations is behind me, we've not played to this hole yet, but a sort of elevated uh, green with that mountains in the backdrop is just, uh, well, breathtaking. But unfortunately, I won't show you the green we're actually playing too, but oh, it's so frustrating. But also, in a way, it's drawing me back in because I'm getting a little teaser today. And that means that ultimately I've got to come back and see this course at some point, not only with the greens out, but obviously with leaves on trees and maybe in a bit warmer days, but absolutely breathtaking views. Well, it's time for a, uh, a little rest on Neil's seat and a bit of water. It's a bit of a hike to be fair. You've, um, there's a few inclines to say the least, but um, as I keep saying about the views, incredible. What I've decided to do, something a bit different, and I wondered if uh, this, uh, if you can ever relate during the winter golf, is that I've set a different, kind of challenge to myself and that's 
I'm not putting on the greens or anything like that, so I'm trying to hit fairways in regulation. So all my concentration has been on my game off the tee. And at least it focuses the mind a little bit because, like I said, when I get to the greens, it's just a case of pick up the ball, put it in my pocket. But having that to at least sort of mindset on the tee sets some kind of challenge. And then the rest is just about uh, walking to the ball and taking in those views. Now, once again, a huge thank you to Tacoma Golf for supporting this series of videos. Quite simply, without their support, we couldn't do this. And as you'll hear later in this video, I can't help but be impressed by all of their golf clubs. And one thing our camera lady has just picked up on that I hadn't is that there are no bunkers on the course, or at least not so far anyway, I've not seen any. And uh, the other point that I'd like to mention is I've not played driver yet either. There's a lot of interest in short par fours, but really all about position it looks to be. This one plays, well, 263 off the backs, we're another 40 yards further forward. So either way, I think there'd be a lot of strategic play around Wyndham here, but we're gonna have to come back before we work that out. Which seems the perfect moment for photo of the week. Don't forget Tracy or Andy in the comments down below. I'll tell you what I will say whilst the camera's on is just a shout out to the Tacoma 3 wood which we're going to look at in a lot more detail in the weeks ahead but I'm absolutely nailing this thing and as you know I'm not overly keen on 3 woods but this is super impressive you know. And whilst winter greens aren't ideal I took the time to enjoy the surroundings. Windermere is a very pretty golf course indeed, with some breathtaking backdrops and somewhere I will no doubt return in the warmer months. I'm ripping this thing. Well, it's at the black and white marker post. But well, you know what? I think this challenge is actually doing me a bit of a favour because again I've hit a fairway in reg and my concentration on the tee is perhaps far greater than it normally is because maybe you just get up here and give it a wallop whereas because of this challenge I've set for myself mentally I think it's actually helping my game. So that's golf finished, drawn it to a bit of a premature close because uh, well, we're staying in a van this evening and as yet we've got nowhere to sort of physically stay, park the van. So before it gets too dark, I think we need to get a bit of a shift on and find somewhere suitable. And that led us to the oldest pub in Windermere to plan our stay. But we learned that heavy snow was forecast in the area, which could cause a problem with traveling the following day. We needed a change of plan.
So 48 hours later, I am back in Hollywell Golf Club, a golf club that isn't open either. You see, it was a very good decision. The snow did come down, the temperatures dropped to something like minus four overnight. And despite my willingness and uh, also my wife's to get out and stay in the van, it's not the, uh, well, perhaps the most comfortable thing to do right now. And certainly it was a wise decision to return home. Unfortunately, home looks like what the Lake District did, and that's a golf course covered in snow. So for the time being, we'll be in the van editing and uh, we'll wait. Keep our fingers crossed and hopefully be back on the road next week and that snow disappears. And we've got another episode of Off the Beaten Track and uh, without temporary greens. See you next week. That was nice anyway.